Hey everyone, Josh here, and today we're going to tackle a pretty common problem related to opening files or moving them around, and that is the error where Windows tells you that the operation cannot be completed successfully because it contains a virus or unwanted software. Note that this video is specifically for Windows 10 and uh, will likely be the same for Windows 8 and Windows 7. The error message is slightly different for Windows 11 and I'll handle that in a separate video just so that there's no confusion. This error can look uh, like a lot of different things. Uh, you know, maybe it'll, it, maybe it'll look like this when you're trying to open something for an exe file. Uh, maybe it's gonna look like this. Uh, maybe it's just going to give you a simple warning that uh, it can't complete successfully. Or maybe it's going to show up as more of a Windows Defender style uh, pop-up where it's telling you that you can't complete the operation. What these errors are telling you is that basically Windows thinks this file is unsafe for some reason. Uh, it's not digitally signed. It comes from an untrusted source. Something is happening. And this, like I said, could be for a variety of reasons. And before we go too much further, I do want to point out, like, make sure this is not a virus. Make sure that you're actually downloading this from a trusted source. Now, a lot of times people have this issue uh, when they're downloading things like maybe crypto miners, maybe they're downloading uh, torrenting software, and because they're kind of coming from maybe an untrusted source or because Windows has associated this type of file with problems in the past, it's flagging as a threat. Uh, so just a disclaimer there, make sure that this is not an actual virus before you move forward because if it is, then this is going to cause a problem in your system. So just a fair warning. Okay, so how are we going to fix this issue? Now, other videos might suggest that you simply disable your Windows Defender virus protection, disable your uh, real-time protection and virus uh, threat uh, detection in Windows. Uh, I don't think this is the right way to do it because you might need that on later and uh, to actually protect you from threats and you don't want to have to fiddle with turning it off and on and potentially causing a problem. Fortunately, there is a way to handle uh, this uh, virus protection on a case-by-case -case basis or file-by-file -file basis and it's very easy. So let's take a look. First, you're going to click into Windows and then you're going to click into the settings. From here, you'll see Update and Security. You click in here, and then you're gonna to go to the left where you see Windows Security, click there, and then you're gonna see Virus and Threat Protection, click there. Now, I wasn't able to actually find a file that would trigger this warning for this video, uh, but I did, when I went into these settings, I did see that it had a couple of old ones from before uh, that flagged, and uh, they're listed now as still current threats. So this is how you're gonna handle it. Let's say that you tried to open this file, which uh, is a coin miner here, and it gave you the warning and it wouldn't let you actually open or install the program. So if it appears here in your current threats list, all you're gonna do is click on the file that it's showing you. It's gonna give you a drop down, and then you're gonna simply select allow on device. And you can click into see details and, uh, you know, and make sure that this is kind of what it is that you're looking at, making sure that uh, this is the exact file that you want to uh, that you want to install. So once you've done that, you're going to hit Start Actions. It's going to give you a prompt. You may not be able to see it here. Uh, you're going to hit Yes. Now you can see there's no current threats uh, here, and uh, that means that you should be able to go back to that file and actually complete the installation process. Now there is one other thing that you can do, or another way to kind of tackle this. For the second method here, you're going to uh, stay in this virus and threat protection window. You're going to scroll down into the virus and threat protection settings. You're going to go to manage settings. You can see real time protection here and all of these protections that are currently on. And if you scroll further down, you'll see exclusions. Now, here you can specifically indicate folders or files that you can add an exclusion to, which means that Windows Defender will no longer check those or exclude those from. Uh, being able to install or move around and all that stuff. So if you click on add an exclusion here, you can uh, you can select file, folder, file type, or process. So in this case, what we could do is we could select file and then simply navigate to the folder that has the file that we want to exclude. In this case, I've just found a random exe file here and I'm going to select it and then hit open. Once you've done that, you'll see that this exclusion has been added. And again, you could go back to that file and open it and you should be able to install it, move it, modify it, anything else. 
Now, again, I do want to point out, I don't recommend that you disable your real-time protection and all of these other virus and threat protection um, options here in Windows Defender simply to install one file. And the reason is because, you know, you may forget to turn it back on uh, or, or whatever. It may just be annoying to turn it off and on when you're trying to uh, install some of these files. Best to just handle it on a case-by-case -case basis. That way your computer is uh, protected when you're not uh, messing with this stuff and you won't have to worry about it. Hopefully this video solved your problem and you're able to install your file or move it around or whatever you need to do. If it helped, consider liking the video. It would help the channel out a lot and allow me to keep creating videos just like this to solve your tech issues. Thanks.